We have uh, a lot of fun uh, to uh, go through today. So this is, uh, we, we got, I think we got to this slide, right, on Tuesday, uh, where, we, where we come to this rather extraordinary point in time where a scientific uh, uh, parameter, you know, a value of, of the universe, if you like, was uh, declared to be true by vote. Right? Its value was, was decided by a vote. So this is, again, so this is the relationship between uh, basal, uh, basal metabolism, resting metabolism of organisms. And, you know, it's supposed to hold down to incredibly small sizes. Uh, this is the story. Scales of three quarters. Right, so at this point, there's no theory. Right? As we've mainly been talking about empirical analyses, there's still no theory here. So theory takes a while to appear. So you see it's pretty consistent with two-thirds as you increase this bracket. Right? So does this make sense? So it, it makes sense also to start from zero and not to start from the biggest size. I mean, organisms through evolution are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The constraint is coming away from zero. Uh, so we're getting more and more organisms. As you can see, when you get up to 35 kilograms, there's only 20 more guys to add. Right? This is the elephant's weight in the data set. So you see that this... this uh, the, the, the regression gives you two-thirds, two, it's very close to two-thirds, and then it starts to increase. So there's also river networks in here, and I'll, I'll explain why this all connects together. Right? It seems like a very different thing, but uh, this will turn out to be uh, a big deal. So, and this is how I connected into all this uh, metabolism stuff as well. This, is a, this has been around for a while, this understanding that, of course, that, that networks of these, these river networks are very nice, self-similar objects in some way, right? This is a fractal story. Uh, one, so you need to break the network down and start thinking about pieces and, and, and to try and quantify that, 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 if you like, beautiful structure we see. So, uh, so here's an overall basin, some area A. So I just, I, the, the preceding sort of, you know, run through all the statistics was to just try and really ram home that it looks like it's two thirds, right? He considered blood networks a while ago, and, and so here's a different approach, right? You have to supply these organisms, right? They're running around, you have to supply them with food, with, well, the food goes in and gets turned into energy, right? So how do you keep the blood pumping around in an efficient way? So he, he actually came up with a two thirds scaling, but we're not going to talk about that because that was, that was somewhat, you know, it was a reasonable argument, but it didn't, fit the, it didn't fit the bigger picture. So you start off with some organisms and evolution produces bigger and bigger ones that the guys on the three-quarter line, they have to go further and further up. So they need more food to keep, it, to keep it going. So, you know, it's just pretty, this is never really said, right? But that's just suboptimal. I mean, it's obviously suboptimal. Uh, what these guys are going to say that it is there's an optimality principle here. So you could say, all right, doing the best that organisms can do, they get to three quarters. Actually, this would be better. The uh, capillaries are invariant. So as you go from a mouse to a, an elephant, the capillaries are basically the same. And this is a story for cells as well. That you know, they're not. You don't have a big fat cell inside of an elephant. They're lots of. They're just mammalian cells. They're just more of them. So you can see this is a series. If you think of this as impedance, like electrical networks, right? Then at this point you have, these guys are um, in parallel. So these two branches are in parallel. So when you push in here, you see two branches in parallel. Uh, but then once you get that parallel piece together, then this is, these are in series. When you do that, there's a one over n appears in there because it, the parallel gives you that division, right? It, it lowers the impedance because you're dividing, you have, all these guys in parallel, so that minimizes, that reduces it by a factor over n. But then you're summing them because of the series. What has to be true is when you look through here, is that the impedance, it looks like just one big tube. So whatever impedance is presented by the guys at each level looks like, the, like just the aorta. Looks like just the continuation of the aorta. And to do that, you don't necessarily have to have a self-similar story. So if you put these guys in, then you get alpha equals three quarters. So you could just argue for these guys. Um, or if you stick in R, L, and R, R up here, and, uh, and you put these exponents in. So notice one thing here is you don't need to measure exactly what any of them are. You just need to know this relationship between them. 
However, if you actually look at real data, and uh, people have done this, they've been doing bad things to animals for a long time, so, uh, and, and using different methods. So, right, so these are people who um, donated themselves to science or found themselves donated to science. Um, and, uh, and these are animals who probably didn't check the box. But this, um, so this is, this is the, the state. So in the end, I think if you, if you take away all the math problems and so on, this is what you can say.